It was only by coincidence that we learned of an HIV study in a small East African country. A country surrounded by the highest rate of HIV infection in the world. A country whose people had fought one of the longest wars in Africa, and yet we had never even heard of Eritrea before. I recently had one case of uh, a driver. He, he travels from here to Addis and back every couple of months. And um, he was sick and was diagnosed with HIV. And he came, he didn't tell his wife. Many women came with complications from childbirth. Because of the scarring from female circumcision, all women have to be cut open during childbirth. Many women bleed to death or need blood transfusions. But they didn't have any HIV tests in Sha'ab. We, could we ask some of the mothers if they're going to circumcise their daughters? They do all. They do all. They all circumcise their yes. daughters? Everybody is circumcised. <laughs> What is the belief behind it? We don't know why we do it. Our mothers were doing it and we are doing that. In Eritrea, only women perform female circumcision. Zara Abu Bakr was the woman's name, and people came from all over Eritrea to see her. She was a Muslim and used verses from the Quran to help heal her patients. What did she say about the AIDS? Uh, uh, actually, she doesn't know what the AIDS is uh, or how the AIDS could be. And she really finds uh, skinny people almost there and about to die. But she can't judge it because she doesn't have enough instruments to check out. 